and welcome to Sound Tracker. This is completely unscripted and you never know, maybe things will go wrong, maybe they won't. Anyway, I just want to welcome you to this new show. This is the pilot episode and who knows, maybe we'll turn it into something, God, maybe it'll be world dominating, maybe it won't, maybe it'll just sink in the internet and this is the first and last episode you'll ever hear of me. But who knows? Anyway, hello, my name is Harvey, and today I'm going to talk to you about Metal Gear Solid 2. Or rather, not Metal Gear Solid 2, the game, but the soundtrack that was composed, orchestrated, and generally put together with superglue by the one and only Harry Gregson Williams, and partnered with the brilliant Norihiko Hibino. Uh, I hope I've said that guy's name right. If I haven't, I apologise to you, although I doubt the fact that he's probably ever going to listen to this. But anyway, I apologise if you are Mr. Hibino. It's not intentional. I need to get your name right if this is the wrong way of saying it. Anyway, I would like to talk to you about this game. It came out in 2002, and it was a sequel to the immensely successful Metal Gear Solid of 1999, and both written, directed, and pretty much masterminded by the one and only Mr. Hideo Kojima, and released under Konami. Uh, first came out in Japan in 2001, uh, but I believe the UK release, where I am at the moment, as I'm sure you can tell by now, was delayed a little bit because they wanted to put in all of the extra content and they had to get localised things sorted out. But anyway, what happened was basically, uh, according to Wikipedia, this is, Harry Gregson Williams um, was kind of chosen to be the orchestrator chap, the composer for the game, because uh, apparently Mr. Kojima and a couple of the other guys um, were kind of watching through some of his old films and some of the things he'd uh, sort of scored and stuff, and they decided that they quite liked his music. And so what they did was they decided to sort of make a bit of a, a demo tape, a mixtape, and they recorded the things that they really liked, then they sent it off to him and said, look, you know, this is the kind of stuff we really, really, really like. Would you be interested in coming to help? And uh, he said yes. So there you go, history in the making, I suppose. But yeah, it was it was brilliant, apparently, by the way they... They got him to go for it, and um, yeah, apparently there was a bit of a language barrier, as I'm sure you can imagine, this guy being American, and uh, these lovely chaps, they're uh, Japanese, and so what they did with that, instead of actually trying to make some kind of massive great big hoo-ha out of it, they um, decided to make the, you know, the score would actually influence the action being seen, so what they did was they gave him a bit of a description, so they sent over, you know, sort of like a few paragraphs of, oh, this is what's going to be happening, and so basically, uh, you know, the odd action sequence, um, you know, done in storyboard form. And so basically what he did then was he kind of like, he scripted the music to that, uh, got the orchestra going, recorded the piece, sent it back over to Japan, and then they listened to it, and then they kind of re-storyboarded things if need be, and they recorded it and uh, put it all together. So all of the stuff you see in the film, well, not the film, the cinematics in the game, it's almost film-like, uh, a kind of like a collaborative effort, effort, a really, really, really interesting way of, of the director and the producers and the music uh, orchestra team working together as one to actually produce a, a really, really, really brilliant show and, um, you know, turn it into not just another game soundtrack, but actually a phenomenally successful game soundtrack. Yeah, and as you can imagine, you know, the piece that I've chosen to play is called Opening Infiltration, and this was uh, something that the collaborative efforts of Mr. Gregson Williams and Mr. Habino, they both kind of worked on it, they both wrote it, they both kind of got it down on paper, played it, made sure it sounded brilliant, and hopefully what I'm going to do is play this for you now, and I'll put this over the trailer, the cinematic trailer for the game, and then uh, we'll call it quits for today. So anyway, yeah, thanks for listening, uh, enjoy the song, and you never know, maybe I'll see you next time, but for today, this is your host, Harvey, and I'd like to wish you well, and the best thing you can do is probably, if you like this song, is go out of your way to try and track it down in a music shop, I mean, in the UK we have places like HMV, Amazon, all of the other reputable music dealers that are out there, and by all means, go out of your way to buy this soundtrack, it really, really is something special. Anyway guys, I'll leave you for now. And enjoy, this is opening infiltration from the Metal Gear Solid 2 soundtrack.